Yo, what's going on with y'all, man? Um, I'm back at it with another episode of Inside My Mind, and this time around, I'm going to do it on me versus a foxy grandpa. Why a foxy grandpa? Well, because everybody knows a foxy grandpa. Dude's pretty much a living legend in the scene. He's been the top player for almost 10 years now, I feel, especially in the UK scene. He's the United Kingdom's, mostly Europe as a whole, their strongest force over there he's been traveling over to the states cooking the united states players for years now so why not do an episode on uh one of the greatest probably the top five nrs player of all time foxy grandpa so let's get into it all right so uh thoughts heading into this uh yeah this is final combat for anybody who doesn't know this is uh the finale of basically i'm pretty sure all you guys know super bowl and nba finals this is basically the finals of um all the tournaments that happened led to this point. You feel me? So all those Evos, the Celtic Throwdowns, Dreamhacks, all led, all those points we gained is for this moment. And this is, at this point in the bracket, this is actually top eight losers. Uh, I actually lost to Sonic early 3-1 or something like that. So yeah, that's why I'm, uh, well, that's why it's losers top eight. Um, so yeah, we both edged our opponents out, made it to the top eight. This is a 16-man bracket. So we... I had to beat two people to make it here. He had to beat two people, I'm assuming. I had to, um, I had to beat uh, Dizzy and Hayate to get to this point. So the matchup is upgraded versus uh, Shang Tsung at this point in time. Foxy was using Shang Tsung a lot. This is like his main character for sure, even more so than Lao. Um, made top of Evo, I think, with Shang Tsung. So. And Foxy has to show so much discipline to Yeah, at this point, um, I know this is kind of old. This is like March, right? So this is a different version of Upgraded. Upgraded got touched a couple times. And by touched, I mean nerfed. Um, she's worse than she was at this point in this video. But she still busted today. And she was even more busted back then. So, so yeah, I lost that. I had to basically clarify all that. Sorry that I didn't really comment that first round. Uh, yep, Walsh blocked me. So apparently you can see he's ready for this matchup. Um, he came into this matchup doing shit I've never seen anybody do with Shang Tsung. He was using forward forward to get under me leaping in. So I'm pretty sure you'll see it again. And when you see when he does it, I'm going to call it out. Yeah, right now he's just getting staggered. I'm trying to, trying to put the pressure on him. He's in the corner. He's trying to make a read on, I don't know if he's trying to grab, uh, re yeah, he tried to read like three straight grabs. My execution was dog shit right there, I dropped like four straight combos, but we got the round anyway, because we're Jackie boys. So yeah, he was doing forward forward to get under, ooh, I'm gonna rob. Yeah, he was doing forward forward to get under the leap, and it was like crazy, because it took me a while to catch on to him doing that. I was like, is he doing that on purpose, or... But I noticed he was doing it on purpose to actually avoid the leap. Yeah, look, he, he was ready for this. He was lost blocking the trap and everything. Whiff punished me nasty. By the way, this is first of two. No, this is first of three. This is first of three. Look, 4-4. Four, four. You saw it? He did 4-4. Four, four. See, this is why I don't like going for grabs in this stupid game. One time I went for a grab, full down two Ks of ease my life. I'm getting cooked, yo. He got aggressive at the end. Yeah, he read that leap. So yeah, he air to air to me, jump kicked on a read, read the leap. The first game, boys. So heading into this set, right, I just had a nail biter with Dizzy, right? I was up 2 0 and I almost choked. I almost got reversed. I'll probably do it uh, inside my line on that one, too. Um, I already felt like I was going to be dizzy, but I choked out. Uh, I choked on calculating chip, and I almost literally got reverse throw. So I'm coming off of a set that I almost lost. So I'm actually pretty, pretty. Uh, if I, at this point, Dizzy's also from the UK, and I was like, man, if I want nail biter with Dizzy, and he's not as strong in my opinion as Foxy, I'm gonna get smacked by Foxy. But I actually played way better versus Foxy. I played a lot more calm, collected. Every set's a new set, you know what I'm saying? You can't really be shooken up by what happened in the previous set. You got to come in every set knowing it's a brand new set. Whatever happened in the past, fuck it. Now fatal blow and play. Cannot count this character out, especially when fatal blows ready to go. Dash punch. Dash punch oh yeah, so um, this point in time, dash punch was safe, as you guys remember. Now it's not safe on block, but. Yeah, he got, but he 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 got a little careless right there. He got a little antsy. I don't know why he did that. And that wasn't even a punish on the, that, like that jump kick. I didn't even punish that jump kick. He just he just didn't block. I don't know. 
Oh yeah, it was a punish. I'm stupid. All right, yeah. So it was a punish. It was actually a trip guard. That's what that's what a trip guard is. A trip guard is when somebody jump does a jump in attack and whiffs it, and you punish them the moment they land. That's, like, that's what a trip guard is. If you ever got if you guys ever hear that term, trip guard. Trip guards are different from antires. See, he did it again. He did a four four. I think eventually in the set I scout that out and I uh, cancel the sh the leap early in the shrap in order to punish him. Two forward dashes. You think you've caught the defensive flow? He just by the way, guys, I'm pretty sure you guys know Foxy really Grandpa is one of the best strike throwers by far in the NRS right, scene. Not even just in MK11, he's always been a strike throw kind of player. But, um, yeah, Shang Tsung also really fits that strike throw mind game. That's actually all the character is a strike throw. So, character's perfect, Foxy. Every time. Every time Foxy does a single projectile, he is dancing with yeah, the in this corner, I'm just staggering him so with a 1-1, one, one, which is plus 3, or it might be plus 2. Is that, it's plus 3, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, so he mistimed his meaty, so I ended up waking up and doing 3-3. Three, three. KB. So yeah, he fucked up on uh, mistiming that meaty. That literally cost him that whole game. He could have maybe came back and won that, but... And I did down two because he was about to get breaker, and if I didn't kill him before he got break, he was probably gonna frog me out. He's not being as crazy offensive. He's just looking for the moment. Yeah, he keeps doing the forward forward to get under leap. That was like some weird shit. He did it again. You saw that? I basically just spent two bars. Ooh, I don't understand why that KB. That was kind of that was kind of stupid. Look at that. That, that shouldn't have even KB. That was low key robbery, but we're gonna take that, boys. I take that. So yeah, that was like the most instant micro duck I think I've ever seen in my life, and I'm the one who did it. So let me let me slow mo that because essentially what I did, right? I did a string and then I micro ducked, which is exactly what it sounds like. You duck very fast. So I ducked his high. I ducked his stand one, which is a high, and then did one with two again. Look. Uh, 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 micro ducks. Look at the slight duck. You see how slight that duck was? I don't even know if I can pause it. Boom. Ducked is high. Micro ducked him. I do that a lot. I tend to do that a lot. That was such a quick micro duck. I would argue whether she actually entered a ducking state at all. <laughs> As you can hear, uh, I think that's mustard. Yeah. I don't even know. They, they both sound very it similar. Like that's a little bit tricky here. She has the answers to the momentum. Should be a full combo. A rewind. Definitely doesn't deem it worthy to go for a break. He grabbed me again. See, these are these grabs that you kind of have to take because he has Fatal Blow, right? Say he shimmies me one time, probably going to get Fatal Blow. He tried to grab again. The reason why he's grabbing at the end with no health too is because the moment he he does anything on block, it ends his turn. That means I have all the time, the, like I have all the the freedom in the world to, to grab him, check him. And he doesn't want that. Grab is like the thing that's going to extend his turn. And that was a very garbage explanation, but I'm pretty sure someone got it. He did it again. Yeah, I, I don't know when I catch on to that. I probably catch on to that in the very last game. I'm going crazy right now. Staggering. Yeah. Jackie staggers are very annoying and hard to deal with, especially because she can just back dash after all of them and catch you for trying to poke. Continuing the pressure. That was smart. just wants to get out, but can he? It just feels like rewind relentless. Yep, ground pound. Well, thing is, like, it's it's one thing to yeah. I read that he was gonna do that. Yeah, so that was a good read on my part. I read he was doing one one stagger a lot, so I read that he's gonna do one one stagger. So I just challenged. A lot of people don't do that versus Foxy or just Shang Tsung in general. Reddit four three just took my turn. Boom. Now it's over. You know he staggered. Boom. That's probably a thing that um Foxy of course is legend in the UK scene and legend in the NRS scene in general. But like that's probably the thing like about the UK scene that Foxy has to adapt to when he comes into the United States, where all the prime top players are, because the UK players aren't as strong as Foxy, and they're not as strong as the United States uh, players, so they're not going to challenge him on shit that he's used to abusing, you feel me? He's not used to getting challenged in, in spots in his game plan, where people usually hold the shit because... They're either not as good as him or they're they're nervous because he's Foxy Grandpa, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not about to let him, you know, do what he wants. You never want to let players do what they want, but at the same time, you don't want to overextend and kill yourself because you're too, you're too, 
set on being so offensive and not wanting to hold shit, you know what I'm saying? Being over offensive could kill you, but sometimes that momentum is, and especially in MK11, you see the trade combo, so 4-3, I, he, he, uh, I did 4-1 stagger, then I 4-3. He tried to react, and he poked, but we traded, which caused me to get a trade combo, because, look at trade. And since that happened, my I do another 4-3, because it actually combos on trades. If you guys don't know what trades is, it's kind of just what you saw. It's two characters hitting each other at the same time, and they both get hit. Except Jackie is broke, because uh, her 4-3 on trade combos actually combos. <clears throat> into another 4-3, which doesn't no happen normally. I woke up dash. Okay, let me explain that dash punch. People are going to think that's random. All right, I woke up dash punch because I read on knockdown that he was going to walk back to try to either read my up three, my up two, or roll, my forward roll. So reading that, he walks back because he either thinks I'm going to roll or thinks I'm going to up three, and he's waiting for it. So I know he's doing that, so I woke up Dash Punch. I woke up Dash Punch. I know he wasn't ready for it. It was a read. He did it again. I'm really surprised that like he even ever, he, I don't know if he came up with that or if he saw somebody do that and he was like, oh, that's a good idea, but that forward four is actually pretty good at getting out of it. He, he takes the the uh, the route of just getting out of the pressure rather than actually trying to challenge it, which is smart. But eventually, I catch on to it. Like I think right here, I, re I read it. Do I read it right here? Nope, I just get four two to my face. Yep, read it. Okay, you see that? He did that so many times in the set that this time I leaped and then canceled my leap into shrapnel early which left me right above his head and then I punished him and I dropped my combo I hate when I make an amazing read and then drop the combo and then I proceed to get down to KB into 37% a leap, a dream, and a fatal blow. But, Continue you know, I'm at Jackie amount of health, I have fatal blow. I, I get super lucky. He, that's super unfortunate for him because he made the right decision, but I guess it wasn't the right decision because he got punished right. So I jump his, I jump right between his health sparks and then punish him full combo, which leaves him pretty much one touch away. Like one grab and a couple, a little bit of chip. Yeah, like now he's one touch away. I have fatal blow, one hit will kill now i'm just at this point i'm just trying to get his health down to around 40 because this one touch in the fatal blow isn't going to kill him until he gets around 40 percent health if you guys look at his health points he has 50 right now right so i'm gonna try to chip him out i hit him with the ground pound which gets him to 44 so now he's really in te death territory so now i'm gonna just chip him out get him to 40 43 42 40 now he's one touch away look 39 percent health left his if you guys don't know what i'm talking about his health points are on his health bar now if he gets touched he's dead yep trade combo dead and that was all because he tried to poke me when i staggered he tried to react which is the good thing but he died for it because he didn't react in time staggered poked traded and because we traded my 4-3 combos, and I link it in the fatal blow, and he's dead. And he already knew he was dead. He, he already put his hand out, shook my hand, and all that. Yep, he's, he's dead. Like, he's for sure dead. You see why I wanted to get him below 40 now? Because look at how much damage that combo did. It did 39%. If I did that shit when he was at 50, he wouldn't have died. So that's why I try to dwindle his health down to around death territory, which every good player thinks of you know this isn't just a me thing people think of this shit once you're in fatal territory you try to get the opponent around that that health where they're gonna die next touch and that's why the mechanic is so stupid because you get this you get the fatal blow for for losing essentially you get your ass beat and now you have the, uh you're below 30 and now you have fatal blow and now you're the one in control now they have to play around the fact that you have fatal blow you know say they they had say you had 30% say you had you guys both had 40% health he, he you beat the opponent up now they're at 30 you're like oh yes I'm about you know I have a health lead now no you don't I have fatal blow now now you're one touch away from death you see why the mechanic is stupid
But yeah, um, I was pretty relieved. I was pretty, uh, I wasn't, I was chilling. I wasn't like overly excited because like this was the first match of losers top eight, meaning like I'm guaranteed fifth at this point. I beat Foxy, so uh, I, he goes out at seventh, and he uh, he's out the tournament. I eliminated him. I was I was I was pretty content because um you know a lot of people would probably be happy they beat Foxy. Foxy's a legend. He's super hard to beat, especially when there's a big bag on the line. That man Foxy's always playing at his best. But I was chilling because I already felt like you know I could beat him. That's not me being cocky. That's just me being confident. And if you're not confident in yourself, you probably wouldn't beat nobody. You know what I'm saying? But that's really all there is to this episode of this video. Uh, it's me versus Foxy. I also played him a Kelsey Throwdown. I beat him at that too. Let me know if you guys want to see that too. Um, I'll probably dive into some sets that I actually lost. Like next video, I'll probably dive into a set I actually lost or something. I, I want to give you guys the mindset of I was in in a loss, as well as a win. Outside factors can also have play in a way in. Whether you win or lose, of course, and that's anything in life. But I appreciate you guys for tuning into this video, and I uh, hope this is what you guys wanted. I'm going to keep doing more of these. Let me know if you guys want to see another Foxy or you want to see different people uh, if I played them. But all right, guys, be smooth, peace.